James, maybe I should have done a different song for you. I feel like I the opening, I could have done better. I should have done Gentle on My Mind. You're going to stop with the song? I'd like to, <laughs> to sing you in justifiably. I mean, it would all due respect. Gentle on my mind. Oh, but you, by the way, what you were saying, let's not even, I won't sing it on. I, 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 what you said off the, uh, off the podcast, Gentle on my mind. It's it, about yeah. It's the song is like it's like it's knowing that the door's always open and the door out of free to all. It's about it's about a dude who's not he's not treating the person he's having a romance with right. fairly enough. Right, and, and, and it's and, like that's what I like about you, baby. You're always available. <laughs> And it's not a love. It's it's a me, it's like a love song, but not really because he. It sounds like he's taking advantage of it. Like you know, like yeah. your door's open. I don't have to commit to you. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Here, like, it's like sort of saying this. Play the karaoke version. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's sort of saying. It's sort of like saying. Uh, uh, give me a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put a little reverb in his mic. It's knowing that your door is always open, and I don't ever have to call. <laughs> It's knowing that I can come over your house, we can fuck, and then I can head out the back door and not stay all night and cuddle. <laughs> and it makes me want to look at you and then not look at you and then ignore you for the next week or two until I call. <laughs> it's knowing, I'm going to steal yours, it's knowing that if we're at the mall and you see my wife, you'll just shut the fuck up and keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> That keeps me in the back roads, under the bleachers, away from public, or never in front of my family all the time. It's knowing that if you invite me to your house for Thanksgiving, I'll tell you it's too early in the relationship, even though it's a year and a half. <laughs> or introduce you as my friend on Valentine's Day when I'm on a date with another woman or man, anybody but you. <laughs> <laughs> It's knowing, it's knowing that I can walk across your doorstep and then walk right out and have you beg for me to come back, but I never do. And when I call you, we just pick up where we left off, and then I drop you in the mud by the river, Shut by the up. alley, and the, by the back roads underneath the desert. It's knowing that if I forget your birthday, forget Valentine's Day and Christmas and Hanukkah and all the other things that mean anything to you. You pretend you don't have a birthday or a Valentine's or a Hanukkah. Just to make life easier for me. <laughs> <laughs> you pretend you don't have a birthday. <laughs> yeah, that's how easy. What's Yo, your... keep me chilling on my mind. <laughs> it's, come on, give me one more. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's knowing that if my car breaks down, I'll just dump a big... Oh, wait, I fucked it up. You didn't fuck it up. Uh, yeah, he fucked it up. Dump <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> back foot. Look at the look at the real word lyrics though. Just can we pause that? It says, "I dip my cup of soup back from the gurgling, crackling cauldron in some train yard." In a train yard? So let's see, hold on. Let's get the real word. He get is the real. romancing someone in a train yard. Well, come on. Let's not judge. <laughs> I'm trying to be very open-minded. For all I know, there's yeah. some guy, you know, fucking a girl in a yeah. train yard right now. <laughs> when maybe, I... maybe he has no other place to go. And then how do you think he feels if he's a huge fan of the show? He's like, I like to fuck the girls in the train yards. Well, girls that I love and I care about. What? I go to the train yard, I fuck them, and I take my... My, my wife and I My wife and I have a lovely romantic evening out in the train yard. And then we take our cup and we dip it into the crackling. What's he getting with his cup? He is a, Can we a, listen to the real words? He has a soup cup, and he dips it into your gurgling, crackling creek by the train yard. Oh, I know what he's talking about. Yeah, he's, he's, like, he's, sucking, he's sucking on somebody's back hair. That's what he's doing. Ugh. So let's play the real song and see if we can figure out if we're half right about that. This is I think he can. He's not bound by marriage. I think that's a line in the song. Yeah, it's like, it's like, if I go back to Congress and vote against the kind of relationship that we're having right now, you won't go to the press. And that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm running for office, you pretend you never knew me. And I toss you a couple of bucks to keep the kid a secret. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Oh, wait, he needs his heads. No, no, the, the real one. That's okay. So let's see if, play the real version and see if, we, if we're making any sense here with what this song is about. Listen, listen closely. We might be wrong. It might be a, a, a song. Hold on, pause it. Hey, we might be comedically 
making fun of the song. It might be sometimes in life there's two people and they both don't want a commitment. And when that is the case, there can be something beautiful about that. The problem is if somebody wants something and the other person doesn't and someone's being dishonest. Right. Maybe this is about two people being honest with each other. I don't know. Maybe, neither do you. Well, if, if that's the case, it would work better as a duet where the other person's like, yeah, you ke- I'm, you're gentle on my mind as well. Oh. And, like, same reason. <laughs> but it's just one guy presumably singing to someone who's like nodding their head. James? Like, what? You are very smart. <laughs> oh, this is Paul Anka version. Well, oh, pause it, pause it, pause it. This is a Paul Anka version. Oh, so which, he's fine. No, no, I think, I think it, it might even be better. First, I was going to go, no, play the Glenn Campbell. Paul Anka does a very, I think, really cool version of this song with just bongos, and then at one point, the big, uh, the, the, he, a big band kicks in. So I sort of like it. I actually want to listen to this for a while and really take in the Let's words. listen to every version of it. Mm-hmm. Start downloading all the obscure tracks. <laughs> Andy Kindler sings Gentle on My Mind. Yeah, what, what's wrong? Is the back roads in the alley too far? Wait, where, where else? What else? What, should I go in the gurgling of the train yard? Huh? Or a more, Wait, play obs- the, play the song. A more obscure play lover's nest? Play the karaoke nest? version. I want to hear Andy Kindler doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Andy Kindler. <laughs> <laughs> it's knowing that your door is always wait, it's always open in the path that's why why wouldn't it be free to walk? Is it a path that I can't walk on? Could I say walk on again? And now I'm slip and now I it's a I'm stashed behind the couch. I'm not even in front of the couch. And it's knowing I'm not shackled by forgotten words and bonds and the ink stains that have dried up some line. <laughs> that sure. line, 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 and maybe it's that the back in the road, back road, but by, by the, the rivers, <laughs> by my memory, that kid could it be any further away? Could it be by the back roads, out of the way, underneath the hoof? Is there any other place that's less ideal for making love? <laughs> Fade it out. Put your stuff away. Seriously, you gotta. Okay, play the Paul Anka version. I want to see. What this and this is what we do. This is when I think the show should be called. Is anybody enjoying this as much of us? And yes, <laughs> the, thank God the people I talk to after the shows because we're all doing this together. Right. We have people. Well, it's knowing that your door is always open and your path is free to walk. That makes me tend to leave my sleeping bag roll up and stash behind your couch. See, that's not someone who's in love. That's like he has his he has his sleeping bag stashed up behind their couch. It's like Why it's are like you so quick to judge. Yeah, well, it's like I heard the, about you and your sleeping bag. <laughs> we'll take a break. No, uh, <laughs> go ahead. I, by the way, you know I'm with you here. Right. This guy's a fucking pile of no, shit. No, it's like, this is how I treat everybody, every man I've ever loved. This is how I treat him. You keep a sleeping bag behind their couch? I keep sleeping bags behind their couch. Don't get me wrong, but I'm an asshole. I'm hey, just saying. Call I wouldn't sing a song about it. You're right, because if you called me, let's say I was, uh, let's say hypothetically in this situation, we're, I'm the girl. You're calling me. And we you're, can just say, we're the, you're the boy. We're lovers. Come, come on. Let's not be disgusting. <laughs> I'm, I'm, an, I'm a girl for this bit. Okay. Okay. So, and, uh, Todd's so, the bottom. I'm on top. Uh, come that's getting edited out. I have no jokes about that. This is not this type of show. I know you do those other gay shows all over <laughs> LA. I know what I heard about you, James. I have no I, gay I have so no gay shows. Would you call me? Would you would you call me? <laughs> would you call me? Yeah. Like I, what you're right in the song. It's got my sleeping back. What if you if I'll I was the you girl, you hey, call baby. me on the phone. You still got my and, sleeping bag behind you. And I'm and I'm like and I'm maybe I'm not the, like, you know, I'm not liking it. How would it sound if it was just a phone call? Okay, okay here we go. Okay. Hello? Hey. Hello? Hello? Hey, baby. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it, who is this? Hey, you know, it's the old trap. Oh, don't call me anymore. Wait a minute. By you... the way, I want to apologize that I'm doing the worst woman in the world, but for comedic senses, for, for comedic uh, purposes for this bit, I have to do the Tootsie Woman, you know? <laughs> Hello? I know women don't sound like that, okay? <laughs> oh, hey, you don't call me anymore. Why not, baby, 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 baby? Because you, I want to be, because I want to be in a relationship with someone that cares about baby, me. Baby, it's February 5th. All right, I've been thinking about you all weekend. What were you calling for then? I want to know if my sleeping bag is still rolled up on your couch. Behind your couch. No, still I think... Th- no. No. Where, where'd you put it? Where'd you put it? It's not here for you by anymore. By the river, by the alley, on the back <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you're so gentle on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 
wait, ask ask Glenn, ask Glenn Campbell, <laughs> ask Glenn Campbell where where the where the where the salt and pepper. <laughs> wait, what do I do? We're just like we're, we're eating dinner together. Like, could you pass me the salt? Okay, like, hold on. Like that. Wait, me and you are eating dinner together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ask. Okay. I'll be good. You're, you're, okay, right. We're, Whoever wrote this, we're on the date. We're the same people are on a date later, right? Yeah, like if this song is apropos, then this could have happened too. You're yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. We're eating dinner, so we're not on the phone. Right? You were gonna, you were gonna do it though. Do it, do it, do what you were gonna do. Okay. 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 Uh, could you pass me the salt, please? Oh, sure. Yeah. Why, why am I on the phone when we're at dinner? <laughs> oh, that was a lot of work to do an ad lib. That was more work to do an ad lib than I've ever heard before. Okay, so we're at dinner. <laughs> and now for the the, the the most work that went into an ad lib, the winner James and no and no 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 no. I don't mean. Can you finish this Paul Anka song? I want to hear a little more. Before uh, my oh, you started all over. Well, it's knowing that your Hold on, door pause is it, pause always it, pause open it. and your. Pa- I like how Chris. You know, I always say I don't throw you under the bus, but I like how I say you start all over, and you looked at me like, yeah, like did you think yeah, that you was gave the-, the worst shrug? Yeah, like that was like, yeah, like, well, was that? A that's a ju- it's a judgment call. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, I spilled beer on the goddamn thing too. There, let's can we can we move it forward and we'll we'll edit this out. Sure. Go back to gentle on my mind. So what if we play relapse a little bit? Of you have a gentle on the mind. I love this song. I actually do like this song. It's I don't know what, it's what it's song. about. And it's not clinging to the rocks and ivy planted on the columns now that binds me. Yeah, see, baby, I don't need but all those relics. Now, what did that just say? I want you to listen to every line, and then I'm going to stop it, and you explain what it means. I'm not clinging to the rocks and ivy that's hanging from the columns and everything, all that civilization bullshit, all right? What we're doing is just living free, floating down a river. We're not clinging to anything, sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? All right, go ahead. I'm sorry I didn't put you in the will. I got other kids by other women. I got to treat them better. Go ahead. (laughs) That you're moving on the back road by the rivers of my memory, and you're flowing ever gentle on my mind. Fields and clotheslines, junkyards and highways come between us. Some other woman is crying to a mother as she turned an eye and gone. Yeah, whoa! Okay. She said some other woman is crying to her mother. He's like, baby, you don't talk to your mother. That's what I keeps you gentle on my mind. Is, are you serious? I think that's what, yeah, of course. I wrote the song, <laughs> I wrote the song 50 years ago. It's well, just, no, no, I'm not saying you wrote hi, it. Hi, Glenn but... Campbell. Thanks for having me on the podcast. <laughs> No, wait, he's probably Southern, right? Uh, it's Glenn Campbell. Thanks for having me on the podcast, Todd. I'm a very old friend. Now, Glenn, I'm going to go play your song. Well, I wrote this song because I hate women. Oh, hold on. And I love women. <laughs> well, uh, he's not in studio. Glenn Campbell's on the phone. <laughs> Hello, Todd. It's Glenn Campbell here on the 50th anniversary of my hit song, Just on my mind. Well, wait, you know you sound so old. You, he doesn't sound like well, that. I wrote it 50 years ago. Well, Glenn, first of all, thanks for coming on the Todd Glass Show. I know you're a big fan. Yeah, sure. I want to plug my line of uh, Glenn Campbell cooking wear. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's uh, made of stainless steel. You can, you can, you can cook uh, carrots. You can cook well, beef chops. Well, hold on, Glenn. And the best thing is you can store it anyway. You can store it on the back road by the alley under the desert through the window. <laughs> By, by the doorway. Are you making sense? In the basement. <laughs> in the basement. <laughs> I don't know why this. It's. It's. I'm not even following it, but it's very funny. It keeps getting longer. By the, the rivers. Room, uh, in by the, the guest room. In the guest room, under the bed, in the pillowcase. <laughs> do Andy Kindler doing it further? Wait, 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 wait. How gentle on my mind is it? What is it under? Is it under the? Is it under the hopscotch? Is it underneath <laughs> the sidewalk? Is it, is it inside the side? Is it beside the sidewalk? <laughs> Is it in third cardinal direction from the walk? Where? How general is it? And is it on my mind? Should we play the rest? I never know. Yeah, come in. I stood out of silence, tears of joy stained my face. And that summer sun burns me till I'm blind. I, I still like the song. But not to where I cannot see you moving on the back road. Flowing ever gentle on my mind. Now listen to the words. I want you to be able to explain. Listen. Everybody in this room, shut the fuck up. Glenn, wait a second, Glenn. What is this next line? Well, I dip my cup of soup back from a gurgling, crackling cauldron in a train yard. Well, I want to have a 
say that Paul Anka sang it was terrible, and I... Oh, you I, don't like this version? I, you know, I think that Paul Anka, if he was a real man, he would have taken up my challenge to a duel with firearms. Well, Glenn, you... Are you, are you <laughs> I would have... Paul Anka's on the phone. I would have taken two... I would have taken two pistols. I got Paul Anka on the phone. And we would go back down by that old river. Glenn, are you listening? Alley. Glenn, what are you going to do in the alley, Glenn? I'm going to shoot that old dog dead. <laughs> By the river, <laughs> on the alley, <laughs> buried buried in a shallow grave. By the river, this always, is always gentle on my mind. This is Paul Anka. <laughs> what I, you old son of a bitch? Now listen. First of all, for our listeners, I'm going to have to do the worst impersonation of Paul Anka, <laughs> but it's going to have to work. <laughs> Hello, Glenn Campbell. Hey, you don't like my version of my song? You old. Fraud. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, fuck you. You want to talk fuck like a you. Catholic boy, you I can mean, do it. But you want to fight like a white man, we can do it down by the river, by the alley, under the fucking tree branch, and we can You're whack- lucky. You're lucky I did a cover of your song, Glenn, because let me tell you, first of all, Glenn, I like what you do. I... <laughs> what are, you, are, you, are you choking on your... What are you choking on? You know, you know what? You're not choking on the residuals from that fucking song because you ain't making any. We're not, I'm not, having a heart attack. I don't, I don't give a line. shit. Maybe I'll give me my, give me my pills. Hey, Glenn. <laughs> they're in the, Glenn. They're Glenn. in the kitchen, under the cupboard, <laughs> by the back road, under the refrigerator. They're next to the basket. Always, always get on my back. I, I, Every, I knew that was going to come only a half a second before you did it, and I loved it. Everything, everything that he went. Hey, hold on. Oh, oh, that's Glenn's in the hospital, and Paul's calling him the next day. <laughs> hey, Glenn. I'm just holding on. Well, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> All it took was one hey, more. Chris runs the show. If he plays that sound, it means you're dead. That's, Chris tries to wrap the show up. He goes, oh, I'll make Glenn Campbell dead. This bit will be over. I love that everything in Glenn... By the way, we phone? shouldn't make fun of Glenn Campbell. Uh, Who uh, knows but, if he's alive or dead? No, he's or alive and okay. he's doing great. As a matter of fact, he's doing a very uh, courageous James tour right now. James is still on the phone. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. All right, we're back. <laughs> First of all, this is one of those moments where... I go so all over the place, and then I come back and I go, "What just happened?" <laughs> but play the rest of that song. I love that everything oh. in his life, everything in his life oh, is hold, like, hold it. God, everything in his life is is, what? is uh, by the river and down the alley. <laughs> yeah. I like that Paul was calling, and you know what Paul was basically saying, Paul Anka, is that uh, you know this podcast heard my version. So you know, there's Glenn Campbell saying, you know, "Fuck you" to Paul. Well, they did, they only knew the song because Paul Anka did a cool version. of Sensational it. ratings. I love that podcast ratings. I'm going to ask you a question. Oh, wait. Can you, seriously, all bullshit aside... The answer's no. Because it's hard to get James Adomian serious. That, that version of Gentle on My Mind by Paul Anka, I actually really like it. I like the Glenn Campbell version better. You did? Yeah. Let's I- play the Glenn Campbell version. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not joking around. Can I, I think you're all talk. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be all talk? I know. <laughs> because of what? You'll come in here with your talking points, your Paul Anka talking points. That's a typical liberal position, Ty. Okay. You're all talk. <laughs> what? Play the uh, play the um. What do you mean? Play, play, you play, don't go back have to the Glenn Campbell version. version. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the only version there is. Well, I like the uh, I like the thing with the congressperson. Keep doing oh, more yeah. of this. When I run, do for this till I kill. Hold on, keep keep doing it till I die. I like do this till I kill. <laughs> do this till I ki- die, man. Well, you kill, you die. You know. Okay, you ready? Go ahead, Chris. You're doing a good job over there, and I'm not joking around. <laughs> What else does he say? No respect for women at all. Yeah. He just likes a woman that he can walk all over. I can grab you by your face and I can push you into the mud and you come back right up smiling like you like it. I can grab you by your ass and squeeze it in front of my friends. You giggle and act like it's something you prefer. (laughs) I have kids with another woman and I force you to suckle them on your tits. And I make you raise them like they're your own and love them, too. And when they ask you who their parents are, I make you say that you were a little bit of a whore when you were younger and you fucked some stranger and you don't know who their daddy is just to protect me. Where were they born? They were born in Minnesota and I come back there every summer and pretend that I'm their favorite uncle. 
They were born. No, where were they born? On the back. Oh, fuck. Where were they born? <laughs> By the river. <laughs> fuck, get it. Missing the song. Wait. Knowing that the, when I come around in town, you'll be one of three people that I'll probably call to fuck. <laughs> but maybe not if I've taken somebody with me. I threw your sleeping bag out. That, see, now you're not gentle on my mind, baby. Yeah, I threw it out. Go so fuck yourself. You're not gentle on my mind. No, baby. I don't give a you're shit. You're not gentle on my mind. I don't give mind. a shit. All right, baby, you know what? I'm going to put you under the wheat field, hung up, hung up on a clothesline. I'm going to stuff you into a junkyard. And you can go cry to your mother like all those other bitches who don't hear the secret meaning of my hit song. You're out of my life. I, I'm out of your life? Yeah. I'm Glenn Campbell. I don't give a shit. I get pussy in every fucking railway I don't, station. Did you listen, Glenn? I don't give a shit. I'm a self-respecting woman. I pick up the I'm phone. A, I'm a self-respecting woman. Oh, that's the other version of the song. And I don't need you anymore. Anymore in my life, I'm looking for someone who respects me. So no, I don't have your sleeping bag, you motherfucker. I you shut up. the fuck up, you crack with your... You're not coming over my house anymore. I could make the police come over because I'm friends with them and they'll probably just arrest you. I can have the sheriff toss you out. Do you, do you know who I am? I'm connected. I've got friends in high places. You're lucky you're alive and able to talk to me. Well, I'll tell you, I got Paul Anka's sleeping bag right here. Stash beneath my couch. You better. And he was friends with Frank Sinatra. And I'll have you killed, you motherfucker. If you want Shut to, the fuck if up. If you want your children to live, you better take them to Mexico right now because I'm coming after you. You better slip out in the night under the railroad. By the back road through Juarez, take the back road through the hill stops and hide out to stay gentle on my mind. You're listening to the Todd Glass Show. One eight hundred one eight hundred five eight hundred Todd. We'll be back. Our guest will be Tom Likas. He hasn't taken calls in the Los Angeles area in a long time, but when we come back, I swear to God, Tom Likas will be in studio. Or maybe he'll be on the next show. No, we'll, we'll, we'll. This is the worst wrap up towards that I've ever done. <laughs> you, when we come back, it's right sh- before the radio guy. <laughs> guy 